Hey, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy, and today we're going to be answering the question, what type of trailer can you bring to a CDL road test, and what the best type of trailer is to bring for your CDL road test. So if you're thinking about bringing some type of vehicle to the road test, you definitely want to watch this video, because I'm going to give you the secrets of all the years that I've been involved to see what works the best, and what are the technical rules, so then you're not wasting your time going to DMV and can't even get tested. If you're interested in getting yourself a CDL license, definitely want to give us a call at 908-525-3609. We're here to help you. We're located in Linden, New Jersey. So all you got to do is give us a call. Our team is waiting for you and we're here to help you any which way that we can. That being said, which trailers should you or can you take to get yourself a CDL road test? So we had actually a few calls on this, so that's why we're creating this video. Technically speaking, you can bring any trailer that you want. There's only a few rules you have to understand. The trailer has to be unloaded, which means it cannot have a load inside. They will inspect the inside of the trailer itself, and if it is loaded, you will not be able to get tested. And if you're trying to get tested in New Jersey, there is a big backlog, which means you just wasted a whole lot of time, a whole lot of effort, and time is money, which means you wasted a whole lot of money, because now you can't get your license, and you can't start getting paid. That being said, as long as it's not loaded, you can take it. Now, uh, some people ask, well, what about tankers? If it's, can I bring a tanker? Yes, you can bring a tanker. If your tanker trailer transported hazardous material or has hazardous placards on it, you must show proof that it was washed out within the past uh, three days, right? So, and then they wanna make sure it's empty and that it was washed out because of course an examiner doesn't wanna just be hanging around hazardous material uh, that's been loosed around inside the inside the tanker itself. Now if you take a specialty trailer like a tanker, the test is going to be exactly the same. The pre-trip inspection is still going to have to be followed. The pre-trip is going to be the same thing. Still got the same tires, suspension, brakes, and everything like that. You're not going to have any doors or anything, but you definitely want to make sure that all the valves and everything are closed and they are secure. That's pretty much the only thing that you would have to add if you are bringing a tanker trailer to the road test itself. Now that you know exactly that any trailer is possible and you know what the requirements are, what are the best trailers to take to the test if you want the easiest way to pass? So in most cases, if you're driving on the road or you have a buddy who drives, he probably drives a something that looks like this, which is a sleeper and a 53 foot trailer. Now this thing is a big mother. You know what I'm talking about. That, it's, that being said, it's 75 feet long altogether. Now, the bigger the vehicle is, the harder it becomes when you go to maneuver on these DMV courses. Now, of course, the courses are designed for a full-size vehicle just like that, but it also means that you have less chances of making mistakes because you have less room to operate in. That being said, here at Driving Academy, we teach people on all different types of equipment, all size trailers, because we don't want to just teach you how to get yourself a license we want to make sure that you understand what you're doing so after you get your license you're actually a successful driver and you're showing a good name for us because we want companies to keep hiring our students because of how good we train them but that being said when it comes to the test day we try to make it as easy as possible for you because we already know it's a two and a half hour long test it's split into three different parts so it's extremely hard so what do we do we take you in what we call a day cab which is this over here with either a 36 or 42 foot trailer, depending on what's available for that day. And a trailer also is a single axle trailer. Now, the reason why we do that is, it's actually in the sweet spot where, because the smaller the trailers go, the harder they are because the quicker they turn. And the bigger the trailer is, the less space you have to maneuver. So the reason why we pick those trailers is, it's in that sweet spot where it's not gonna turn on you too quickly. Plus, if you make a mistake for whatever reason, you have enough time and enough space to correct that mistake, right? And the fact that they are single axles, that means that they turn much smoother, much easier, where again, if you make that mistake, you have time to correct it. So again, we try to make it as easy as possible for you guys to pass this test, and we're here to help you out any which way that we can. So I hope this video caught you well. If you do not have a vehicle for the test, or some people say, hey, I'm just gonna go rent one, you have to be careful with that too, because when you do bring the vehicle, you wanna make sure that you have original documentation if you're taking the test in New Jersey itself. They're very strict on that. 
Then when it's the original registration and then original insurance, if you show up with copies, they ain't gonna have you test, which means you just spent a whole lot of money renting the truck for nothing. You wasted a whole lot of time. Now you gotta wait a month or two months to get tested again. And that's all a month or two months where you could have had your license making some money. So do the smart thing. Make sure that you're trained correctly and make sure that you're bringing the proper truck that makes it as easy as possible for you. If you don't have one available, I think I know somebody who does. And that's this guy right here. So here our team helps people every single day just like you. Make sure that they're trained correctly so they can pass the test the first time. And we bring the proper equipment that DMV already knows and understands because we're there pretty much every single day. You definitely want our help, give us a call. 908-525-3609. We're here to help you any which way that we can. Our ultimate goal is to get a million people on the road to freedom. And what's more free than getting your license and getting yourself going, right? So that being said, give us a call, 908-525-3609, or visit the website below, cdldrivingacademy.com for more information. Or if you're watch this, watching this at some crazy hour of the night when you should be sleeping, but maybe you can't. So visit the website again, cdldrivingacademy.com, and I hope to see you on your road to freedom.